All right, good morning once again, and welcome everybody to the third annual Detective Borough Manhattan South Memorial Softball Game. At this time, I'd ask everyone to please remove your hats and direct your attention to the presentation of our nation's colors and the singing of the national anthem by police officer Brianna Fernandez. Officer Fernandez. It is now my pleasure to introduce Police Department Chaplain Imam Dr. Tahir Kakai, who will lead us in our invocation. Loving, merciful God, we thank you for this beautiful day and beautiful gathering of ours as we come to honor our great detectives, Robert, Detective Robert Dash and Stanley, Detective Stanley, Robert Cardona and Detective Stanley Dash. As we honor their legacy, God Almighty, we ask you that you continue your blessing upon their, his, their blue and blood family. We ask you that you bless all those that made this day possible to organize blue and blood family to come together we pray for our fallen heroes. We pray for our heroes that need our prayers in the hospital as they are sick. We pray for our retirees that often we forget that they have paid their duties. They've done their job to keep this city safe and prosperous. We pray for our leadership to lead this great department, the greatest police department in our country and in the world. We pray for our city. We pray for our great nation. In your name, we make this prayer. Amen. Thank you, Imam. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce the co-worker and uh, close personal friend of detectives Cardona and Dash from Patrol Borough of Staten Island, Detective Jose Tawala. Good morning. First, I'd like to thank everyone that's here, especially you, the players. You guys uh, make this happen. I'm going to share a little stories that um, that keeps this that inspires me to make this happen every year. Um, Mr. Cardona, Rob's dad. Um, after the first year we did this, he told me, Jose, I never smiled and laughed in over a year, and that's because of you guys. So I thank you. And I applaud you, and I hope we can keep this going. I'd like to thank the DEA, the ceremonial unit, also Chief Galata for helping us host this here, and all the family assistants, and also Joe and Perry Trees with his help. Also, I couldn't do this. This year, we're able to assist three families with your help and donation. 
So and that's all because of you, and thank you. I'm going to pass it off to Joe to elaborate. You know, this morning goes to show that no matter the nonsense going on in this city or this state, we're always going to come together and do some good stuff. As long as we continue to do that, we can continue to sell some hope. You know, I want to start off by saying the line of duty families to my right. They're the most important people on this field today, so please give them a round of applause. You know, I have a very soft, soft spot for children either with disabilities or dying of a terminal illness. And uh, a couple weeks ago, one of our own on Staten Island, Denise, U truck five, Tommy. His daughter wasn't feeling good. She's eight years old. They take her to the doctors, and there's words you don't want to hear. It's your kid has cancer, and we need to start treatment right away. So you're going to see there's some swabs that are set up, and anybody between the ages of 19 and 35, please donate. Please think if it was your child, what you would do, because in order for her to have even a chance of survival, we need to find a match. So that's the first start today. Um, Lieutenant Tommy Swanson, if you could join me a second. So as Jose said, we're helping three families because of you guys. And today we're gonna to start off by giving $700 to Tommy and his family just to start, and Lieutenant Swanson is gonna present it to him later. So thank you guys for the first family. Another tragedy, you retire, you think you're gonna get on with your life. Well, you guys might've seen a GoFundMe recently for a canine officer that retired. He was with his family. I think it's in the Carolinas, they're going to family day up at college. He leaves the hotel room, he comes home, and he finds his wife passed out on the floor. They don't know if it's a brain aneurysm or what the case, but uh, the outlook doesn't look good. So last night we went on and donated $530 towards that GoFundMe on behalf of the Stanley Dash and uh, Robert Cardona families. That's family number two. And uh, you have somebody right here wearing one of these shirts that every single year we call upon him. We ask him to help us set up and do the brackets. And uh, a couple years ago, you know, everything's going great. Uh, him and his wife are at the hospital and they find out their daughter has a, a terrible disability, uh, think Down syndrome. So Steve Stiller and his wife Diana, please come up. Steve is one of the most selfless people you'll know. Well, Steve. On behalf of your daughter's fund, we're going to give you $3,500 today for whatever she needs. And at this time, I'd like to pass it off to the DEA. Good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you for all coming to the uh, line of duty families here. This is why we're here. And I uh, just want to say we never forget Rob and Stan, um, they're always with us. And uh, the only thing I can say is Rob Jr., he wasn't able to make it here today, but uh, he's also with us in our uh, hearts and prayers. And um, we have a check that we sent him. And if uh, Pam could step up, please, and uh, tell you, we have a check for you guys. Yes, we do. Listen, a little contribution for the DEA, and um, listen, you're always part of us, and we're always going to be here, and uh, we love you, and uh... yeah, just know that Stan is with us, and also Robert. Mr. Cardona also, come up, I just want to uh, say thank you. Thank you. Back there, come on up, Mary. Thank you, everybody. Let's have a great day. And uh, Mr. Cardona, you want to say a word or two? <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and good morning. Uh, I want to thank first and foremost Guard for uh, getting us here all together today safe. Uh, I'm short for words. Uh, I'm going to try to get through this. I just want to thank uh, Jose, Tony, the NYPD, and all the players here today. This comes from the bottom of my heart. And just God bless all of us in the, in 
let's just play golf. Thank you. Pandash. Jose told me to speak from my heart. It's hard to say one thing, but my mouth would say something else. So, <laughs> good morning, families. It's good to see so many familiar faces and quite a few new ones as well. On behalf of my children and I, I want to show, say how grateful I am for all of you here today, grateful your, for your continuous support year after year. I find it comforting to know that through my husband's passing, we are able to provide a little support to families and organizations in need. Our hearts and prayers go out to the family of Manny Munoz. Our support goes to the Autumn R. Stiller Supplement Needs Trust and to Charlie Satira, National Stem Cell Donor Registry. And I would like to give a special thank you to Jose, to tell, I say names wrong, Totola, Joseph and Paradence, the 6th and the 13th precinct, all the precincts and everyone involved. This couldn't be possible without you guys. And I would like to conclude with a quote from poet Maya Angelou. A great soul serves everyone. A great soul never dies. It brings us together again and again. Thank you. Stacia Cardona, Rob Sister. Hi everyone. Um, I will keep it very simple, but I want to say thank you to all of you guys for being here. You know, every time we get together for any event for NYPD, it always means so much. You know, sometimes the gatherings are for sad reasons, um, sometimes they're for good, but I always like to think of this one as a fun one. Um, thank you to Jose for doing this. He told me he will always do this because he made a promise that he will never forget my brother. So I appreciate all of you guys making this possible that you show up year after year. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy, Roberto, and Pam. Uh, we, we appreciate your sacrifice and we appreciate you being here and you, we hold you in our hearts. So thank you for being here. Uh, and thank you once again to Jose, Joe, the DEA, and everyone at Blue Lives Matter NYC for making this happen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my, my pleasure to introduce once again um, Police Department Chaplain and Imam Dr. Tahir Kakai, who will lead us in our benediction. God Almighty, thank you for this beautiful day in our gathering and we pray that the souls of our brothers, Detective Cordona and Detective Dash, be in your presence and enjoy your bounties as we thank you for their family. We thank you for our brothers here. They're going to have a good time playing and also praying and remembering our heroes. God bless you all. God bless New York City and State, and God bless the United States of America. In your name we may be prayer. Amen. Thank you, Imam. Ladies and gentlemen, to close out our opening ceremony, I ask that everybody join us in the singing of God Bless America, which will be led once again by police officer Brianna Fernandez.
Thank you, Officer Fernandez. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our opening ceremony. At this time, I ask all of our team members to join our honored guests, our uh, uh, line of duty families, and all of our guests uh, at the backstop for a large group photo, after which we'll have our line of duty families on the, on the pitcher's mound to throw out the first pitch. Have a great day. When he's ready. Gracias.